I'm Cody from Kino. And I'm Daniel. And we're here to introduce you to the brand new TS53B series with a 1.5 gigahertz quad core Intel Celeron J3455 processor, which can boost up to 2.3 gigahertz. Let's get into the design of this thing. Well, as you can see, this is one of our prettier models. We put some thought into that. Now this pops right off to give you access to the drives. And also uh, there is an OLED display right here to give you information about your NAS, like for example, what's this IP address? There's just up and down arrows here to get different information. Um, now these drives just come right out. And these are tool-less, which means um, this just pops right off, drive comes out, and these can take uh, 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drives, including SSDs for more speed. Wow, so really simple, really easy. Don't need to be a handyman to use that. Um, so, notice we've got an SD slot up here. Uh, what are we going to be using that for? Yeah, well, many devices like cameras will typically um, store information um, on their SD card. And the SD card will be taken right out and just plug right in there and just put the information right in your NAS. And then we've got a USB-C port down here. Uh, what are we using the USB-C port for on this model? Well, this is one of our neater features. Um, this you plug in right there. This is the USB-C, uh, USB quick access, and you plug your computer directly into your NAS. Now you can get one with, with USB-C on both ends, or you can get C on one end and A on the other, whatever connectivity uh, your computer needs. The advantage of the quick access is that when you plug in this way, it will automatically mount files, um, fold folders from your NAS onto your desktop, so you can drag files and folders from your NAS to your desktop, from your desktop to your NAS. It's done very simply, nothing even a little bit complicated like connect a server or anything. Great, so a really easy, simple way to connect to your NAS. And uh, right below that, we've got that USB 3 port with a little button under that. Well, what are we using that for? Yeah, this is uh, the one-touch copy, so you plug in your USB drive right there, press the button, and it will automatically copy everything on that USB drive right into your NAS. Wow. And so when you set it up, you can designate exactly what file you want your data going to, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. So let's check out some of the stuff on the back here. What kind of ports do we have going on back here, Daniel? Yeah, we've got uh, two gigabit LAN ports, uh, two HDMI ports, four USB 3 ports, and a PCIe expansion slot. Wow, that's a lot of functionality. Now tell me, why might some of our viewers want two 1 gigabit LAN ports? Yeah, well, um, this model will um, per, um, support link aggregation. So you can plug both these ports into your Ethernet managed switch, and that will allow for um, either load balancing or added redundancy. Okay. And what about these uh, dual HDMI ports? Why, why might you want two HDMI ports? Yeah, well, you can plug a screen or a TV directly into your NAS for easy viewing. And I imagine some of our uh, viewers right now will plug more than one screen into your computer and something similar can be done here. All right. And then last but not least, we do have this PCIe slot here. Now that's a rare feature on a two-bay NAS, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, so this expansion can allow you to um, put in two 10 gigabit LAN ports for some really fast speed if you want. And we have just come out with what we call QM2. This allows you to put two M.2 SSDs right in here. And some of our QM2s also have a 10 gigabit ethernet right there. So you can plug all of that in right into your PCIe expansion. Okay. And could you even use those M.2 SSDs for caching or tiering? Yeah. Um, QNAP NAS will support both um, with caching. Whatever uh, data has been used more recently or whatever data you choose to cache will be duplicated onto your SSDs, then accessed from then on or from your SSDs for SSD speeds. And with uh, tiering, the QNAP NAS on a regular scheduled basis will analyze what data is used most frequently and then um, relocate that data onto your faster drives. Great. Then you'll notice we also have a Kensington lock right here on the front. And then a little speaker here, just in case you like to hear your NAS speak to you when you're turning off your NAS or things like that. So this NAS line, it comes in models with a two bay, a four bay, or a six bay. And you can get it with either four gigabytes of RAM or eight gigabytes of RAM. So if you're gonna be using kind of memory heavy 
uh, applications such as virtualization or things of that sort, you might want to go with the 8 gigabytes. Uh, if not, you might want to save a little bit of money, just get the 4 gigabytes of RAM. And the MSRP on this line starts at just $549. Now, Daniel, tell me, what are some of the users that are going to be most interested in this line? Well, this was designed for a small and medium business, but at this price range, it is great for home use. And um, if your business uh, needs more than what can fit on six drives, expansion units plug right into the back through the USB 3. So you can put a huge amount of information on one of these NAS devices. Okay. And then if our viewers out there want more information on, on NAS and how it works and our products, what kind of resources do we have available for them? Well, at uh, QNAP.com, you can get information on the hardware, on the software, and on the features that these NAS units can do. And if you want instructional videos on how to make use of our features, uh, go to QNAP College. And uh, for information on uh, buying options, go to USA Sales at QNAP.com. All right, great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our introduction of the newly designed TS53B series, which has a SD slot in the front, a USB-C port for quick access, and a PCIe slot in the back for our QM2 cards, which enable both 10 gigabit ethernet and our M.2 SSDs, which are great for caching or tiering. Uh, so yeah, utilize these features to get the most out of your QNAP NAS. Thanks for watching.